Welcome to the video you've all been waiting for. This is watering my tarantulas part 3. And that was just for the intro. Now let's get to the real watering. Okay, so let's start off this video with the main star of the two previous watering videos. And that of course is going to be this girl over here. That's right. It's my Saripagoba slash Hapopalma Minex, the Thailand Black. So as you can see, there is not much webbing done compared to the other two videos. It is because I just added more substrate for her. So in a couple days, it should be all webbed up. And look at that. She already moved towards a water dish. Perfect. But I've got a feeling that she's going to be pretty well behaved today. Um, okay. Why? Why? This is the third video, and you still not learned how to calm down? Are you serious, girl? Just let me grab your water dish for once, will you? Please? Thank you? Really? You gotta tap it now? Wow. I'm telling you guys, this girl is just insane. You see, I added more substrate for you, so you can get a softer ground, and this is how you thank me. Stop it. Are you- come on. Leave the water dish alone. There, drink your water. Oh my goodness. You're gonna get your legs squished when I put on the cover, so move it down. Are, you know, the only good part of you being like this is that everyone on this channel loves you. Are you happy about that? Glad that's out of the way. Now we have my little brackets wahini, but the colorations, I don't know guys, comment down below. Let's just do what we came here to do. Behave okay, please? Thank you. Beautiful though. Kilo Brachis Andersoni, Burmese Mustard. This one's also well known for her attitude, as you can see, but this one isn't as bad as Miss Thailand Black. But hey, gotta love your old worlds, huh? Monocentropus Balfouri, which is like in there. So this one, I don't need tongs. I mean, who needs tongs? Tongs are for the weak. A phone of Helma Simani, Costa Rican Zebra. Whoa. Okay. Behave yourself. I don't have to worry about this girl. Gramostola Rosea. Chilling rose hair. Girl, what are you doing? You can't be sticking on walls like that. Better let me take your water dish. No, 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 don't come out. You're hungry, aren't you? Here you go. Here, here, here's your cricket. I know you're hungry. Are you not hungry? Yeah, you are. I know that you are. So that's the Jarvis Darlingi, the rear horn, the boon. Thanks for behaving. I'm sure you guys know who this is. Mrs. Lord Have Mercy from Oh God No Land. Oh God No. Have mercy on me. Don't you dare. Already turning around to kill me. Let me take your water dish. Are you serious? Why don't you guys just let me take your water dish so I can clean your water? Go away. And why you guys gotta web up your water dish? You see what's happening to your web? What are you doing? What is your problem? You want a cricket or something? These guys. Never calm down. Moving on. Sericopelma rubroni tens. This is the Panama Red Rum. Here's the one that's always fat, even if she doesn't eat. This is my Nadu Carapoensis, the Brazilian Red. And she continues to eat, even when she's fat. Welcome to the lair of Lord Have Mercy number two. I think I'll give this one a cricket first to keep her occupied. Oh. On earth. As I was saying, I'm gonna give her a cricket to keep her occupied so she'll leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I swear, these old worlds just make your heart go. Yeah, you know it too, huh? You better stay there and let me fill your water. Crazy. This one's pretty docile, so I'm not too afraid. This is the Euplastris Capistratus, the pink zebra beauty. 
Well, okay, so Kilo Brackis King Kerchan, what was that even? I don't know, man, but <laughs> I'm glad she's over there. Okay, <laughs> I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, okay? Calm down. Now let me take your water dish, because come on, you were over there. Go back to sleep, my goodness. Go back to sleep. Anyways, this is the Dark Earth Tiger. Why do you have to come be a busybody? Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, my gosh. Calm down! Crazy. Next up, we've got the Acanthoscura geniculata. This is the Brazilian white knee. Come on. Let go. Let go. Okay. Move. Yes, you're welcome. My Histocrates Gigas enclosure, she's down there. Thank God. This is another one. You can see one of a foot right there. Here's another Acanthoscura geniculata, the Brazilian white knee. Lassiodora klugi, Bahia scarlet. There's some nice fresh beverage for you. Enjoy. Here's the Ceratogyrus marshali, the great or straight horned baboon. And you gotta web up your water dish. Hmm. That's right, back off. Why don't you ever use that next level down there? It's like I built two levels for you and you just sit on top. You're supposed to be a burrower. Go down. This is my Nandu Tripepi, the Brazilian giant blonde. She's usually very food responsive, so as you can see, just a slight movement and she goes for it. Typical Nandus. Are you serious? She just kicked that piece of moss out of the enclosure. You two gotta learn how to calm down. You're a new world. Behave like one. Damn, girl. Whoa. What is your problem? Here, take back your moss. This is the Acanthoscore Chakwana also known as the Bolivian Pink. I've got a feeling that this video is going to be pretty long. Sorry guys. I, I mean, we're already done with this shelf as well as the ones over here. Now we're just left with this table over here. I'm not going to be including the ones upstairs because those are mainly arboreals and you won't be able to hear water being poured in. But anyways, here's my Phonopelma Calcodes. The Arizona Blonde. She's always out in the open, never uses a hide. It's quite a nice hide. No idea why she doesn't use it. Down there is a Pamphopedis Pletioma, the Brazilian Pink Bloom. Let's get this out. Put it back. Fill it up. And we are done. Here is the Davis Pantaloris, the Guatemalan Tiger Rump. No. You're really small, come on. Think you're so big? Go drink your water. This is my smaller Aphonopelma Calcodes. I'm filming because I've got a feeling that she'll go into her hide. Yep, as I mentioned. Well, you've got a good look of her. There she is, showing her butt at us. This is Ternochilus lugardi, the Fort Hall baboon. Here's the pumpkin patch tarantula. This is the one that is on my profile display picture. King baboon, Palinobius muticus. Since we don't always see her, let's just give her a cricket, shall we? And there she is. In here, somewhere, over there. Can you see the legs? Yup. That is my skeleton tarantula. This is the Orphanaca species Marinduki. This one is from the Philippines. No, don't go away. Come out. By the way, uh, can you see the legs? Yeah, it's not clear. But this is my Heteroscodra maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. This one only comes out when it's at night, so... That was a bit loud. Anyways, wow. Talk about covering your water dish up with web. Seriously, why do you do this? I don't see the pleasure in it. 
How do you want me to fill your water dish now? You want me to like cut the... Yeah, that's right. Bolt away. So now you want me to like cut it open like this? Okay, you asked for it. Ew, what is that? What on earth is this? That's nasty, man. I have no idea what that is. Ugh. Yep, that's getting out of here. The hell was that, man? Anyways. Oh no, it's dirty. Let's just get this out. I don't care about your web. It's for your own good. There, web all destroyed. I'm not going to say sorry to you because it's for your own good. Stop webbing up your water dish and this won't happen again. In here is my Thailand golden fringe. Well, in the hole over there, can you see? There's her back legs and her abdomen's right there. Not very clear because as always, my phone doesn't focus down holes. These guys like it a little bit damp, so... Cochiana Bruna piece, the dwarf pink leg. Look at this girl. Already being like this as soon as I open the enclosure. She's so mad till she flipped upside down. Wow. This is not gonna be a very good idea, but would you like some water? Here you go. You can drink it from your mouth now. Check out the fangs, guys. Crazy cobalt blues. So guys, that will be it for today's watering video. If you liked it, feel free to thumbs this video up. If you don't, you're also free to thumbs it down. You asked for a part three watering video, you got a part three watering video. Leave a comment down below what you think about this one and let me know which is the best so far, first, second or third. If you guys would like to check out the social media, everything is linked in the description below as well as my Patreon if you'd like to support me through there. If there are new Patreons that I haven't mentioned yet in a previous video, I will list them on the screen right now. So those names who are on the screen right now, thank you all so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. It really, really helps me out and I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I guess that, that will be it for this video. Any other videos you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave a comment down below. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.